Two straws, one empty beer bottle gets you a free drink starting today. I mean, not you don't just trade them. You got to do the trick to get the right. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash scam school for your free trial membership and Squarespace. Welcome to the show that promises, swears, it will call you in the morning and it will not be weird at all. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with another unbeatable challenge. Using the simplest of props, two borrowed straws, one empty beer bottle, we are going over the wall. Hello, ladies. I'm Brian. What's your name? Beth. Beth and? Amber. Amber. All right, I got a little challenge for you. It's a little bit of a thinking puzzle, and if you're able to figure it out, I will buy both of you a tasty beverage. However, if you give up, I will sell you the answer for one measly beer, and especially it's happy hour right now, so it'll cost you virtually nothing. Sound good to you guys? Perfect. All right, so we got some dead soldiers here. We got a couple of bottles, and I've got some straws. Now, you'll notice on the straws, I've marked them up. I just grabbed a, a marker and put this middle notch in there. This is gonna be the no man's land. Here's the way the rules work. Nothing can touch the no man's land in the straw, all right? Your hands can touch either side. They can even touch either side at the same time. The bottle can touch either side. I don't, I don't think it's possible for the bottle to touch both sides at the same time, but if it could, I don't know, yeah, there you go. The bottle could even do that. The bottle can touch both sides. But a finger and the bottle can never touch the same side at the same time. You with me so far? All right, so that's the rules with the straw. I got you two straws a piece. I need you using the straw to be able to pick up the bottle and get it up high enough that you could set it on the other side here. We'll make, we'll make the wall of shame here with the condiments. So you have, to get, you have to get over the wall using just the straws. You can't touch the bottle directly. All right, so any questions about the rules? We can't touch the straw and the our finger, like say that's okay? Yeah, that's okay. Right, exactly. So the point is, is a finger can touch a side or the bottle can touch a side, but never both on the same side. But before we begin, uh, any other questions about the rules? No. no. Awesome, all right, get started, go for it. This is good, you can just, you're, you're just trying to plow through the, the wall. <laughs> but that's just it. You can't break down the wall. So you have to actually get airborne and go over the wall and into Arizona where you will instantly be deported back over to this side. <laughs> you, you, can, you can reset it if you've messed it up. That's okay. Nice. Can I help her? No, you can't. You gotta work on your own bottle. You gotta make it over the wall. I love the fact that you guys are you're getting industrious with it. You know what, actually, if you're able to pull that off, I mean, I don't know if the bottle will, yeah. It might fall like this. Well, yeah, then you're, then you're blasting through the wall and not going over the wall. Like Holy cow! <laughs> you destroyed the wall. <laughs> Here, let me put the high jump right back up there. There we go, okay. Like devil sticks. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. If you actually got to go with devil sticks and just flipped yeah. it over, I will buy a round for the entire bar if you bust that out. Yeah. Oh, very clever. Now you're doubling up. You get my, yeah, but you're touching the no man's land. Uh, oh, yeah, you demolished the wall again. Give up. Are you giving it up? We're giving up. All right. We're throwing in the straw. You're throwing in the straw. Well, I tell you what, I will sell you the answer for one tasty beer, but first we have to thank our sponsors. All right, let's talk about Gamefly. You like games, I like games, and Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles from all consoles and handhelds. They got plans starting at $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like, with no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next one, and if you really like the game you're playing, just click on Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours, at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. The best part is Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when you go to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. That's Gamefly.com slash Scam School. It's completely free. It's as good as winning a free drink. Get on over there. 
Did I just get iced? Did you just get iced? Is that really what Bro, just happened here? Two. God. You guys are next! Oh my god! Wow. That was unexpected. That's a scam school first right here. <laughs> All right, you guys were like the best sports I could possibly imagine. Because you tried everything. You tried teamwork, you tried knocking it over, you tried brute force. But the actual method is so elegant it does take a little bit of skill and it's something you're gonna wanna practice at home right. before you try to bust this out on your friends, okay? But all you need to do, remember, you're able to touch both sides. Bend it. That's right, you bend it. You put it down in there. And actually, let me give it a bend. Give it a little uh, hook. There we go. And now. There it is. Hold on, now this is the tough part. You get down about halfway. And there'll be one moment when you can feel. Uh, well, well, the no man. You'll notice there's only two points of contact right now. You get. You do have to be careful because you're inside the bottle. But Sneaky. remember, the old, yeah. the, the no man's land can't touch. And you get right on that edge. Oh, there it is. And then you're able to sky hook oh, the okay, bottle over the wall. See, look at that. I'm even getting applause. Woo. Now here's the important question is, can you guys pull it off? So we're gonna go to break and we're gonna come back and then we'll find out if you have the skills to fly over the wall. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. With blog tools that allow for iPhone updating on the go, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, robust stats, and much more, Squarespace makes it easy for anyone to build out and maintain a site that you could only dream of on other platforms. And if you have coding experience, Squarespace allows you to delve into the code and customize things even further. Tens of thousands of people all across the internet have been using Squarespace for years, and they're already great service is getting better by the day. On July 14th, Squarespace announced a huge round of capital investment that will allow them to expand at an even faster rate. We want to congratulate Squarespace and are truly excited to work with such great people. Head on over to squarespace.com to get your free 14-day trial and when you sign up for the service, make sure to use promotion code SCAMSCHOOL to get 10% off the lifetime of your account. All right, Beth. All right, Amber. Now you know the secret and the question is... Who can pull it off? Now remember, this is something that you do want to practice enough so that you don't look like an idiot with your friends. So what we'll do, this will be your practice session where you guys get comfortable with the game, but whoever pulls it off first, I will buy you a tasty beverage, just for being such a good sport. Sound good? Sound amazing. All right, so everybody get ready. Now remember one more time, you want to have a hook. Now you're gonna, as you play with it, if you're not having success with one size of your hook, Try making it either smaller or bigger, and I do like adding a little bit of a second hook. Now you want to be careful not to touch no man's land because then you're breaking the rules. But you want to get it so that you can get kind of this upside down seven formation as it comes up. And, and also, by the rules technically, you want to make your hook and then put it in. Because technically if you're touching it both, you know, the only problem is like, like if I'm the one you know, being upset with you guys over it, then you guys get to be upset with, over it with me. So there, all right, the race is on. And go. So Amber has a much smaller hook than Beth. Beth did not already get it. She already got it. That is the big, <laughs> she got it first time. I want to see Amber pull it off okay, too. I want to see it. Amber, because I think both of you guys can pull this off. Here, you want to try, you know what, I'm going to accuse Beth of cheating, and I'm gonna let you use Beth's bottle. Oh. I'm gonna say that she had it, not cheating, I'm gonna say you had an advantage because of the clear bottle. Here's a little tip, as, as you go down, as slow as you can, when you think you might be getting close, just give it a little tug up and see if you get any resistance. You can do it. And then finally you'll have it exactly right, wedged in there. Nice and slow. I think she's got it, I think she's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Amber. Thank, Thank you so much, Beth. You guys were freaking fantastic. And I ruined the wall. 
Two things to remember when pulling off this gag. First of all, take your time and very precisely explain the rules of this one. They're a little more complicated than most of the other scams we do. Second of all, make sure you use two straws at the beginning because you want to get that red herring of having them think of them in terms of chopsticks. Lastly, I want you to post your success stories and failure stories at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I am in your hometown looking to pull off a spontaneous scam school meetup by following me at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're going to be doing something technological and biological as we learn how to create your very own cyborg zombies using three dead rats and a TRS-80. Until then, I'm back to the bar. <laughs>